Today, I'm going to be upgrading my Lenovo Legion 5 with a second solid state drive and upgrading the memory from 16 to 32 gigs of RAM. For the SSD, I'm using an ADATA XPG SX8200 Pro. The RAM I'm using is a crucial 32 gigabyte RAM kit. I'll include links for both of these in the description below. Opening the case involves removing four short screws in the front and seven longer screws toward the back of the case. Popping open the case is a little tricky. I used this prying tool, which I bought from Amazon. Working from the front and around both sides, I worked the tool into the seam and carefully pried the front of the laptop open. I then worked the tool into the seam on the back of the laptop. The back sides of the laptop are the hardest bit, and you need to be very careful as you can easily crack the frame prying it apart. Not the easiest laptop to get into, but certainly not the hardest. Once inside, there are two shields. One covers the first M.2 SSD slot and the Wi-Fi card. Both are upgradable. The shield covering them can be removed by unscrewing three screws. The second shield covers the RAM and can be easily pried off. Neither of the RAM slots are soldered, so it's very easy to swap them out. The Legion 5 I have came equipped with a 2.5 SATA drive in the second hard drive bay. It's not a solid state drive, so I'll be replacing it. If you order this laptop without a second hard drive, it still comes with an empty caddy, which is nice. In this hard drive bay, you could put a solid state 2.5 inch drive or an M.2 drive. I'll be putting in an M.2 drive so that requires removing the existing drive. You just have to remove these four screws. Getting the drive out requires lifting the corner of the battery up a little. Taking out the drive also requires removing this drive harness cable. Once the drive and the caddy are out, you can see the M.2 slot. I used one of the screws holding the 2.5 inch drive to install the SSD. The battery my Legion 5 came with is a 60 watt hour battery. It can be upgraded to an 80 watt hour battery, but you lose the second hard drive bay. So with the upgrades done, I just snap the bottom back on and screw all the screws back in. Remember the four shortest screws go along the front of the laptop. I'll then power up the laptop and verify the RAM is recognized, and it is. I've read some reports of people claiming that 16 gigs is the maximum amount of memory for this laptop, but I had no trouble upgrading it to 32 gigs of RAM, and I've seen where other people have upgraded theirs to 64 gigs without any problems. I'll then need to set up the new SSD. So I'll open Computer Management. Under Storage, I'll click on Disk Management. The initialized disk window will pop up. Select the type of partition you want and click OK. Right-click on the new drive and select New Simple Volume. The New Simple Volume wizard will pop up. Click Next. Click Next again. Assign a drive letter and click Next again. On the next screen, you can set up a drive name. Then click Next one last time and then Finish. The drive will then format and be ready for use. Overall, it's fairly easy to upgrade this laptop. Please check out my full review of the Legion 5. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and leave any comments below. Thank you so much for watching.